It's a nice summer's day. However, we're going to see a prehistoric treasure that shows what people do on a cold winter's day. So we've been told repeatedly that Alatai was the first place in the world where mankind first started to ski. And now we're going to see rock hard evidence of it. What is it? I'll tell you in a sec. Let's go. We're about to see a powerful demonstration of the genius of Alatai's prehistoric people who managed to take the snow in their stride. We're finally here to see our rock hard evidence. We're really lucky because we've got Mr O here. He's a local farmer who was working in the fields today. He actually made a discovery which attracted worldwide attention. And um well, a lot of media outlets covered this. They came from all over the world to check this out. And scientists also came because it was of really um, special significance. Come up, I'll give you a hand. Okay, you okay? Oh, it's pretty steep. Oh, there are similar treasures around here, but this one's special, as it shows the ancient start to a modern sport. Oh, Oh, we have no idea who, who painted these rock art. It's amazing. I've never been so close to such an ancient painting. It's a real privilege. Take a look. Take a closer look. Now, from precious art to a precious commodity. My heart is thumping with excitement. It's not about this mountain scenery. It's about something else. As one of China's leading gold producing regions, Alatai, the mountain of gold, sure lives up to its name. Naturally, we want to see where the gold comes from. So we're here at one of the local gold mines. I can't believe it. This stone, once it's processed and cleaned, it turns into gold. Wow. I remember saying that of the 72 valleys in Alatai, they all have gold. So keep that in mind when you come next time. Apart from gold, Alatai is rich in other mineral resources. Stone collectors can buy stones of every shape and colour in the shops. Otherwise, they can try their luck on the road or even along the rivers that run through the mountain of gold. See how it's pretty light? It's already 9pm in Xinjiang. The summers here are really long. The summer days are quite long, so it gets dark really late. Uh, We've had a really long day and I'm dying for a drink. Xinjiang is extremely famous for its dairy product, especially Alatai. And this area, although it looks pretty simple, it makes some of the best yogurts in town. So, we're all gonna have a go. You want mine? I got mine. Over. Oops, forgot the sugar. It's really sour. It's like, it's as strong as lemon juice. <laughs> Our stay here in Alatai City has been jammed packed with activities. From the excitement on the grassland, to the eye-opening home visits, to some magnificent rock paintings, Alatai has got so much to offer. What's more, it feels immensely welcoming. And I can see why many Kazakhs have chosen to live here. I just wish we had more time to take it all in. Bye-bye. Hush-hush.
Before coming here, Alatai has always held a mysterious allure to me. After spending the past week here, I live with bucket loads of memories. And the Kazakhs, I'll never forget their warm-hearted people and their entrancing culture. And on the next episode, though, we're going to Lake Kanas to hopefully see the monster there. So remember to tune in next time. Okay, I'm James Lamb. Thanks for watching Travelogue.